problems with it, then gets kicked back, and you, and you have to meet all those requirements before I we... I think it's like in, when we're in school. As a leader, we should reflect. Um, so I re reflected on my experience in combat, reflected on how did I get to this point. Um, you know, if, if we had more time to talk, I'd tell you I grew up milking cows. Mm -hmm. So nobody would ever tell me that when I was milking cows that I would find myself in the center of the African continent in a nation having conversations with folks and, and impacting people. So very positive personal experience for me, both from a reflection standpoint of what I've done on the battlefield for the Army and, and, an, and another reflection point of what I've done over the last 29 years wearing a uniform uh, and, and not milking cows at this point, right, Move, moving forward. So I think, and then to go back to Rwanda a second time and be greeted with open arms, to legitimately have folks stand up, recognize me, come across the room, and, uh, and, and I'm not huge on military bearing, but to get an, a big bear hug from a, from a Rwandan major and then another one in succession and then another one in succession is one of those things for me extremely rewarding. What's called a concept development event uh, and it basically uh, gives us an opportunity to build out the next several years of exercises um, that are going to take place on the, on the African continent.